recently discovered that in the middle of the night, I grind my teeth. So when that happens to you, you have one of two options. You can either have your dentist mold you a bite guard, which is pretty expensive, or you can go ahead and get an over-the-counter mouth guard like one of these, which can last you for six months. Regardless of the decision that you make, it's really important to clean your bite guard on a daily basis. There's nothing that seems more useless than to put this into your mouth and have your teeth grinding into bacteria and buildup every night. You might as well just eat feces during the day. But there really isn't much that goes into cleaning your bite guard on a daily basis. So that's why today I'll be showing you how to clean a bite guard. In order to clean a bite guard, you'll need baking soda. Take a teaspoon of baking soda and mix it with a half a teaspoon of water. Grab a toothbrush, ideally not the one that you use for brushing your teeth at night. The toothbrush's bristles should be much like an old man's penis, soft. Medium or hard bristles are never as helpful for your teeth or your bite guard. Take the toothbrush and allow it to mix the baking soda and water together so it forms a paste. Brush that paste thoroughly over the bite guard and make sure that you can, much like Madonna, get into the grooves. Wash the bite guard thoroughly and then let it sit on a paper towel for 15 to 30 minutes. On a daily basis, you should also clean your bite guard case to ensure that also won't fill up with bacteria. Cleaning it with normal dish soap is fine. After 30 minutes have passed, put the bite guard into the case and repeat daily. Well, that's it. And now we can feel comfortable knowing that we'll be putting in a clean bite guard every night. And I can feel comfortable knowing I won't be waking up in the morning with cuts all over my tongue. And the only time I will get cuts all over my tongue is when I eat my Doritos way too quickly. Well, let's go ahead and toss in that bite guard. Hmm. Wow. This is the only time in my life I've ever felt like a football player. 